Welcome to December 7th, 2020 on the National Day Calendar. Today we are brought together by traditions that are both bitter and sweet. More after the break. Things that are soft. Clouds, puppies, pillows, hand sanitizer. No, really. Saf Power hand sanitizer cream is made with cold-pressed safflower oil. Saf Power moisturizes and rejuvenates your skin while also protecting you from harmful germs. For more on the difference you can feel, visit safpower.com. Today, we celebrate a popular sweet that goes by many different names. In the Netherlands, it's known as sugar spider. The French call it Papa's beard. In Australia, it's referred to as fairy floss. But here in the U.S., we call it cotton candy. This treat was invented in 1897 by William Morrison and John C. Wharton, who unveiled their creation a few years later at the 1904 World's Fair. Since then, you can't go to a fair or an amusement park without seeing children eating cotton candy. The inventors made a lot of money on the treat at the time, selling nearly 68,000 boxes for 25 cents a piece. But William Morrison undoubtedly made even more money than his partner because Morrison was a dentist. Pretty sneaky, sir. On National Cotton Candy Day, treat your inner child to a taste of summer's past. Just be sure to brush your teeth afterwards. On December 7th, 1941, more than 3,500 Americans lost their lives or were wounded when the Imperial Japanese Navy Air Service attacked the naval station Pearl Harbor near Honolulu, Hawaii. The ambush was designed to destroy our U.S. Pacific fleet, although the United States had remained neutral until this stage of World War II. On November 8th, President Roosevelt announced the beginning of our military involvement, and within hours, Canada joined us on the side of the Allies. On National Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day, we display our nation's flag at half-mast until sunset and listen to survivors share their stories of those first American casualties. So have you ever been to the naval base in Honolulu, Marlo? I haven't. It is oh, on my bucket list. It's stunning. Yeah, that's that's yeah. a must-see. Obviously, hey. you have been. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Hey, tomorrow is Pretend to be a time traveler day. That's there we go. so cool. Yep. Yeah. And if you'd like to know more, be sure to follow us on Facebook and check out our website, thenationaldailyshow.com. I'm Anna DeVere. And I'm Marlo Anderson. Thanks for joining us as we celebrate every day. See you tomorrow.